Well, three pretty encouraging performances to start off with, and then just a, just a little bit flat on Sunday. Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah it was. Uh, we were pretty happy with the first three weeks in terms of our, um, our effort in their contest, and um, on the weekend we, we definitely didn't bring that same intensity that we'd bought the previous three weeks, and it's sort of hard to get a gauge on anything in terms of the way we went in the game without bringing that effort, so... Um, that's what we'll look to do this week. We'll sort of focus on getting back to that, and if we can get back to that, it'll give us a, a good chance to um, be competitive. How do you fix something like that? Well, I think it just comes down to mindset. We just, um, it's pretty simple. We didn't turn up on the day. Um, you know, we've, we've set a pretty high standard for ourselves, so um, we're not going to accept those type of efforts. So, you know, we've obviously got a few young players that that can sort of happen with, but um, it's, we're not going to accept that those efforts are going to be um, you know, taken for, for granted each week that we, we're going to bring the, the effort that um, was required like we did in the first three weeks. So, you know, we'll train it this week and, and hopefully bounce back and um, come out firing on Saturday night. It's the first time you've had to review a pretty disappointing performance this season under Alan. Yep. Was the process any different now that you've got leading teams and you've got the new coach to what you may have faced last year? Uh, no, they're all pretty similar. But like I said, it's pretty hard to get a gauge on on the, the other things that come with the game in terms of you know our ball movement or you know the way we sort of defended when we didn't bring great effort. So if you don't bring that effort, it's hard to review um, those other things and the fundamentals that come with the game because you know if you don't if you don't turn up, you don't turn up, and you can't you know they can't sort of get a gauge on the other aspects of the game. Did, did you see a different side of the coach? Uh, yeah, probably did. Probably got our first hit up at quarter time, which is well deserved. Um, and uh, you know, a few boys probably did respond on the end of that, but a few a few of us didn't. So, uh, and that's going to happen. Um, it's good. It's good to get a bit of a clip across the ears every now and then. But um, you know, we expect us to bounce back this week and, and bring you know the effort that we've probably shown and sort of hopefully that people have enjoyed watching us play over the first three weeks rather than the, the weekend. How's Nathan feeling at the moment? Uh, yeah, he's had he's had surgery. Um, um, I spoke to him after the game and. Uh, I was obviously involved in that collision, which is, is not, not always what you want taking out a teammate, but he's pretty positive. He's, he's a good kid. Um, he sort of had that setback last year where he broke his jaw and, and whatnot, but yeah, he's, pre he's pretty positive. Um, he'll, um, he told me he's going to bulk up and get in the gym and, and hit that pretty hard, so he's already got a, a thing to focus on, which is something that you sort of need when, you, when you're going through that stage. But um, no, he's pretty positive and he's very much a team player, so... Whenever he's ready to come back in, it'll be good because um, he's the type of player that we really love to play with. Pretty it was brutal, a brutal uh, mid-air collision. What was going through your mind? Do you remember about it? Uh, I don't. I do remember. It was just a split decision, split second decision, and um, I suppose we both had our eyes on the ball. Um, ideally, it would have been nice for one of us to maybe take out an opposition player rather than take out each other. Um, but uh, yeah, it didn't work out that way, and he's come off second best, which is unfortunate for him. And, and um, you know, it's just one of those things, I guess, that happens. And ideally, hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Even though it was purely accidental, did you kind of feel a little bit like, oh, God, what have I done? Did you keep an eye on him when he was down, down on the ground? Yeah, I did. I, I went over to him, and, and I, I didn't realise at the time he'd hurt his leg, I thought, because I sort of felt as if we might have rattled each other up. Um, I thought he might have just had a little bit of concussion or whatnot. I did feel bad and sort of played on my mind a little bit throughout the game. And then after I caught a time, uh, sorry, half time, I went and spoke to him, and he, he told me he sort of hurt his leg. So. I was a little bit concerned, but you know, as the game went on, it sort of was still in the back of my mind. But um, he assured me that he didn't think there was much in it, which is nice of him. But uh, yeah, it's not ideal. You don't really feel too good about doing those type of things to your own teammates. Has he, and just finally on, on that incident, has he sort of been ribbing you in like a bit of a jocular manner at all? Or? Uh, not really. I haven't, he hasn't been to the club, obviously, for the um, for the last few days. I've, I've, I've exchanged text messages and spoke to him on the phone, and he's sort of not that type of guy to to do that but um, he's probably got every right to but he, uh, he hasn't so far so yeah I just look forward to having him back in the team because um, like I said he's a really good teammate to play with and he sort of makes helps my uh, helps me out a bit playing on those small forwards so it makes my life a little bit easier so it's going to be a little bit tougher without him. And uh, no, it's just seemingly no Brendan Goddard this week. Um, obviously, you guys would love to play against him. You know, he's, a, he's a great teammate, or was a great teammate, and probably good friends with some of the guys as well. Yeah, and he's a great player as well. And 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 where we're at as a club in terms of how many young players we've got in the team, we always want them coming up against the the, uh, the top players in the competition. So ideally, he plays and we play their best team and have a real test up test against um, their best team. So we'll wait and see. I know it's only early in the week and it's coming off a six-day break. There'll be plenty of blokes from either team saw. So I guess you'll find out later on in the week, say Thursday, when the, both teams have their main sessions and 
and see who fronts up. So it'll be interesting to see uh, B BJ runs out. There's some talk around the Bombers at the moment that up to eight players are suffering with gastro at the moment. I mean, it's the sort of thing that you should be able to get over, but, I mean, they could be absolutely decimated. Yeah, and it's the type of thing that can happen at a footy club. I mean, you spend so much time with each other and, and um, you know, you're eating around the same areas and, and whatnot, so it doesn't surprise me if, if that's the case. But, like I said, it's only Tuesday, so I'd imagine most of them guys would, would front up on Saturday night and we'll prepare for them to be there.